Hi everyone, my name is Tim and before we begin I want to let you know that this video lesson is a continuation of a previous lesson I did on the Milleridian named Milleridian Simplified. Please go check it out if you haven't seen it. And so let's begin. The objective of this video is to simplify turret click adjustments using an AMRAD mill scope at a known distance and target size. What's not covered in this lesson, just a heads up, and I want, just because I want to keep it simple, the rifle number one has been properly zeroed at 100 meters. We're not calculating for bullet drop. We're not calculating for rifle barrel length or twist, and we're not calculating for any other variables such as temperature, humidity, wind, etc. Prerequisites for this lesson plan, but they're not required, are one, understand what a miller radian is, two, understand how to use a mill dot, three, understand the conversion from meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters. Now, as far as number one, understand what a miller radian is, I'll put a link to a description of a video that I did in this channel. It's called Miller Radian Simplified, and I'll put it in the description down below. Link on that, click it, and then come on back here and you will understand what a Miller Radian is. So let's continue. As a quick reminder, uh, radians is just a unit of angular measurement. That's all it is. And a Miller Radian mill, which we'll be looking at closely in this video, is one one thousandth of a radian. As a refresher, this slide right here is just talking about the mill dot. Um, if you look to the right, um, I have a vertical line with a bunch of mill dots on it, and there's some white check marks showing how you can measure uh, using the mill dot. And there is a center to center, edge to edge, and center to inside edge, and others. And remember, the dot itself is 0 0.2 mils. So just a quick refresher. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube that talk more about it. Go check them out. So metric conversion uh, measurements below, there's one centimeter equals 0 0.01 meters. And to convert meters to centimeters, divide centimeters by 100. One meter equals 100 centimeters. And to convert centimeters to meters, we multiply centimeters by 100. The imperial measurement conversions that you see are applicable to what we're going to be looking at. So I want to keep the lecture simple. So I'm only going to be looking at one centimeter equals 0 0.39 inches. And to convert centimeters to inch, multiply centimeters by 0 0.39 inches. And that's two significant digits. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Convert inches to centimeters, multiply inches by 2.54 centimeters. So remember, MRAD turrets come in different specifications. What I mean by that is when they come from the manufacturer, uh, the turret will say on the very top, one click equals 0 0.1 mil versus one click equals 0 0.2 mil. The most common scope adjustment is the one click equals 0 0.1 mil, and that's what we'll be using in this lesson plan. So here you have a graphic representation that is set up. This is an AMRAD elevation turret, and you could also apply this to your windage. And the spec on this turret, uh, AMRAD, is a one click equals 0 0.1 mil, which is important when we look at this. And when you, we want to increase elevation, we the direction of the turret rotation is counterclockwise. So let's say we want to go to 0 0.5 mils. And so we want five clicks because each one click is 0 0.1 mil. So we want to move five clicks over to get to 0 0.5 mils. If we want one mil total, we go 10 full clicks. You'll see underneath each one of the blue one-click dots, there is one-tenth underneath. And remember, we're breaking down from zero to one. There are 10 clicks, so each one of those is one-tenth of one. And so one mil equals 10 clicks times one-tenth or 0 0.1. This graph might look a little confusing at first, but once I explain it, um, you'll be able to follow. So what we're looking at is one mil is how many centimeters at a known distance. 
So we have three rows, row A, row B, and row C. In row A, we have distances in meters. We have 100 meters all the way out to 1,000 meters. Row B, we're taking one-tenth of any distance. So we're looking at 100 meters, 200, 300, again, 1,000 meters. You could throw in 113 meters, 125 meters, 146 meters. Whatever distance that you are given that's a known distance, you divide by 10, and that will give you the answer of one mil at that distance is that many centimeters. So in this graph, I'm showing at 100 meters in row A, we take a tenth of that, and that is you divide by 10, and that will give our answer to how many centimeters is one mil at 100 meters, and the answer is 10 centimeters. Again, we go out to 200 meters, and the question is, well, what is one mil at 200 meters? And the answer is 20 centimeters, because we're taking, again, one-tenth of that distance, and we're dividing it by 10, and we get 20 centimeters. And we go all the way out to 1,000 meters, and again, we take one-tenth of 1,000 meters, and we divide 10 into 1,000 meters, and we get 100 centimeters, or one meter. And there's, next to the star down here as a reminder, you take the known distance in meters and you divide by 10, and that will give you the answer, one mil at 100 meters is 10 centimeters, or whatever distance that you have. So here's the chart that breaks it all down. So simplifying turret conversions. You'll see over here, right below me, that you have AMRAD scope turret. And there is a purple triangle, and it, you see uh, this two rectangles. One on the left is 0 0.1 mL and or mil. And then on the right, you have each one click. And what that represents is that the AMRAD scope turret comes from the factory, and there is a constant as far as each click. So if you read on top of your rifle turret, it's going to say 0 0.1 mil equals one click. For each one click, it's 0 0.1 mL. Ergo, that's why I have those rectangles in the triangle in purple. So underneath that, it's a, again a constant. And that constant is one mil is always one mil. So one mil radian is always one mil radian. So when we have a scope and we want to get to one mil, you're going to have 10 clicks equal one mil. That's always going to be a constant. So if we go over to the right, you're going to see in green with a red uh, mark around it, a circle, and that's a distance. So we're going to be talking a given known distance at 100 meters. So at 100 meters, we're asking the question, so if we have an AMRAD scope turret that comes from the factory and it's 0.1 mil per click, then at 100 meters, what is one click? Well, it is one centimeter. And how do we get that? So we're, again, we're looking at 100 meters and underneath the one centimeter, you have 10 centimeters. And that goes back to the graph. That goes back to that graph we looked at just a minute ago. You can go back there and take a look at that as a reminder for the different distances. So, but it should be pretty easy by now to understand that at 100 meters, one mil is 10 centimeters at 200 meters over to the right you'll see uh that one mil is 20 centimeters just follow what's in blue and then at one mil at 250 meters is 25 centimeters and one mil at 1000 meters is 100 centimeters or one meter so there is this ratio or correlation there so to find out what one click is at 100 meters, all we have to do is just take the centimeter value, which is 10 centimeters, or if you look at the, the ratio here, one mil equals 10 clicks. And so look to your left, one mil is always one mil. So we go over to your right, skip the 10 clicks, one mil equals 10 centimeters at 100 meters. And then we divide the 10 centimeters by 10, that equals 1.0 or 1 centimeter. You can do the same thing over at 200 meters, 250 meters, and 1,000 meters.
So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that graph helps you out. And if it does, give me a thumbs up, like the channel. All right, let's proceed. So I want to keep it simple and to put everything that we learned so far together, um, this is just a very simple case study. So we're at a target distance of 200 meters. At 200 meters, one mil is 20 centimeters. And remember, 2.54 centimeters equals one inch and 5.08 centimeters equals two inches. This target that we're looking at in the squares, they're one inch vertical and one inch horizontal. So now we're going to put it all together. And if you need to go back and look at that ratio chart, take a look at it. Uh, just stop the video and or, you know, click back to it and then come back here. But uh, I put everything up here um, should help out. So if we're at a distance of 100 meters on the very top here, one mil equals 10 centimeters or we do our conversion. One click equals 1.0 centimeters. So we, we are one inch to the left. We need to move to the right one inch. So that's going to be 2.54 centimeters, which is roughly three clicks. We need to move down two inches. And so roughly that's going to be five clicks for 5.08 centimeters or thereabouts. And then if you go down to 200 meters, it's the same thing and you can read it yourself. And then if we go down to this last one at 250 meters, again, one mil equals 25 centimeters. If we go over to the right, one click is 2.5 centimeters. And so we need to move to the right one inch at 250 meters. We move one click because one click is 2.5 centimeters. We need to move down two inches and two inches equals 5.0 centimeters. So at 250 meters, we need to move two clicks because each click is at 250 meters, 2.5 centimeters. And I hope this helps. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below in the description. And thanks for watching. And I hope this helps a lot of individuals out there that were confused just as I was in the beginning. And uh, yeah, so see you later.